Hello and welcome. This is a rather unusual video. I was just uh, tidying up a bit in the kitchen and noticed something. Uh, when I put a pot on our inductive yeah, Kia stove, really nothing special, and I touch the side of this pot, it feels kind of sticky or vibrating. So I thought, what's that supposed to do? And when I take the pot off the stove, then I touch it, everything feels fine. So maybe there's something going on there. The stove is actually out. I can turn it on, but I will turn it off now. So in theory, this is powered off. You still hear the fans because it's of course still connected to power and everything. But um, yeah, in theory those plates should be completely off. But um, let's see what our multimeter says. I switch it to um, voltage alternating current. I put the ground wire uh, to the ground pin of my socket here in the kitchen. So I have a good ground reference. And uh, you see at the moment it just shows some noise, some 0.3 volts or something. And when I touch it, it reads some 1.2 volts or something. So that's, uh, I think that's pretty okay. Now when I touch the pot, I get 38.5 volts of alternating current. I can test this also by putting this uh, pot here in the middle where there's no plate. Then I still get some 8.5 volts. On the back of the plate I get 35.9 volts, so a little bit less than on the front plate, which is a bit larger for larger pots. And just to uh, put the pot completely off, I get the 1.5 volts slightly higher than what I would get when I touch it myself. So that's pretty interesting. So there seems to be some kind of alternating magnetic field still active in this thing, even though it's powered off. We can also see um, what the frequency is. So I'm not sure how accurate this is, but currently it's measuring kilohertz. And when I touch this, I get continually three kilohertz, roughly. I guess it's not very accurate. But so on the other plate, we get the same around. Uh -huh. We just had it around 3 kilohertz. So I think there's a low intensity alternating magnetic field with 3 kilohertz in there still, depending on how accurate this device actually is, which generates quite a decent amount of um, voltage, right? So I don't think we can measure a huge amount of well, looks like 60 milliamps. Turn it to milliamps here. Now it says 42, 0.42. So rather very low current. Yeah, that's 0.42 milliamps, half a milliamp. So very low current, but um, with 30, almost 40 volts, still feelable. Um, yeah, quite interesting. I think this also means you shouldn't put your mobile phones on there, especially if they have a um, metallic casing, a magnetic casing. I mean, most will probably have aluminum and might be safe. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's actually a good idea to put your phone even on the turned off stove. If you have any ideas why this is still the case, even the Though the stove is switched off, please feel free to leave a comment. I am really eager to know why this is, or if this is a problem at all, or if this is normal for these kinds of stoves. Yeah, very interesting. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.